In this video, we'll be going over the weight tile. Now, your OB7 may need to work with external machines. And in that case, it may need to wait for those external machines to finish their process before it can move on working. In that case, I would recommend using a weight tile. Let's look at a weight tile on our tablet. Drag one in. And as you can see on the right side here, we have a couple different options of what we're gonna wait for. The most common one is gonna be just a digital input, which we can select here. And on the right side, you can see, you can select from any of the available IO. On here, we have the standard end of arm IO and any, all the eight inputs we have from the GEI. We can wait for that to be on or off. You can also even wait for time by selecting that guy. Let's say we want the robot to stop working and wait for five seconds. We can just simply add a five and it will do so. You can also have it error. So let's say we are still waiting for that digital IO input, but we only want to wait for five seconds and then timeout. That's all we have to do is select the error after timeout and enter the five for the time. Now, the next option we have is until all operations are complete. That's as pretty as, as simple as it is. When a PLC is selecting what the robot needs to run, it will just make sure that all those operations are complete before moving on. The next step, pretty similar. The, it's, the robot's going to actually wait for all movements to be completed before moving on to the next job that the PLC may be commanding. Below that, we have registers. So here we can say we're going to wait until a register value equals cert something, maybe even plus or minus uh, is greater than or equal to, or just simply doesn't equal. You can also wait until the register value equals another register value. So we can have it when register one equals the register value two, uh, then you can stop waiting. Below that, we have another option that I like to use in testing. This is the tap robot to continue. So the robot's gonna keep working as it would, come to this wait tile and then stop until it gets a tap from an operator or someone that's watching the arm. You can even add a message here. So uh, maybe like the bin is empty. And you can preview that message just as you can with any other message. Bin empty. As you can see there. So now you have a message on the tablet for the operator to read. Okay, the bin's empty. I'll go in and I'll fill those bins back up and then tap the robot to continue on now that the bins are full again. So the next time you need to have your OB7 wait on some other piece of equipment or operator, you can use a wait tile.